Hi my Aquarius witches and warlocks, welcome to the witch's craft. I'm your host Moon Mistress. So guys, just like your reading in October, we're going to be taking a look at spells that will be beneficial to you this month perhaps, as well as any blockages in your magic, how to get over those blockages, and uh, what you guys can be focusing on in the month of December, uh, which will help your spiritual growth. So let's go ahead and take a look at your uh, spell cards and the messages that they have. So we start off with the Fairy Ring Witch. This card actually indicates that you guys may have some admirers this month, okay? Uh, whether that's going to be in love, friendship, work, etc. Okay, and we also see that just like in the card here, there's a circle of little fairies. So this indicates that there may be a circle of new people that comes in for you guys, okay? Um, now, this will be because of a talent that you have or the way that you express your communication, okay? That's going to attract this new um, circle of friends that you guys have. So the spell with this card is to ring in the changes of good luck and good fortune for you guys so you can check that spell out below. We'll look at this one. Okay, so the next one here is the Air Witch. Okay, so what we see with the Air Witch is that you guys are going to be receiving some psychic um, information this month. Okay, it can come in any form, whatever form probably suits your own personality. Okay, but you guys will be getting these messages coming in about inspiration um, and creative ideas. And this may actually spark you guys to have some kind of new goal. Spark you guys to have some kind of new goal that you can focus on. Sorry, the baby was yelling. Um, and we also see here with the Air Witch that there may be somebody in particular around you um, who will be a guide to you. Okay, now you may find this person to be inspirational yourself or you really enjoy this person's company. Um, and they could be helping you in this new uh, journey. Now, if there's any um, worries that you guys have been going through in the month of December or prior, the spell associated with this card is how to remove that worry, especially in terms of if you guys have been worried about your, you know, next venture or your next, um, you know, career career goals if you guys have been worried about anything like that this spell will help there okay the next card that we get for you guys is the warty witch now what we see here with this card is that there may be a loved one close to you whether this is your partner a close friend a family member Okay, this person whom you love is going to be communicating something to you. Okay, guys? Now, sorry. Now, this person is going to be speaking a truth. And this may be good or it may be bad. It really depends, I guess, when this person communicates to you, you'll find out. But whatever this person communicates, you guys are going to be able to see both sides of the coin here. Okay, so somebody's going to be confiding in you for better or worse. Now, the spell associated with this card is how to make your lover break out in a rash. Okay, so again, all those spells will be listed below. Um, I think you guys should probably uh, put them in your book of shadows, but you don't have to. I just think it's good to uh, have those um to learn okay and to keep as knowledge so there's that okay so let's take a look at your actual reading now i'll try to get through it quick so in terms of your blockages what are we seeing here we actually have some pretty positive cards so we start off with the two of cups Hold on, guys. My new baby's crying. I can't stop the video or it'll stop. I'll be right back.
this is my new baby. Her name is Egypt. So I'm just gonna move out of the way a little bit for you guys because I have to feed her. Okay. Just give me a minute. Okay, so, yes, so we start you guys off with the two of cups here. Now, in terms of that being a blockage for you guys, you may find that there's something going on within your close one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, my toddler just ran into the room here naked with some rain boots on. So anyway, he's obviously taken off his diaper. Um, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so you guys are, are, are potentially dealing with uh, some situation in terms of a close relationship to you. Now, this can be your partner. This can be a family member or a close friend, okay? It looks like for some of you here, there is changes going on in this close relationship so it could be distracting you from your spiritual or spell work at this time okay your spirit spiritual growth or spell work for some of you okay this is definitely not going to be for all of you but for some of you there may be some kind of vice that your partner has okay or yourself this could indicate that there's too much partying going on there's too much get-togethers there's too much drinking okay so some of you guys are dealing with changes there now for those of you that aren't dealing with some kind of vice or third party situation in your relationship then what we see here is that there's some kind of happy changes going on with you and your partner, such as a house move, okay, like indicated in this card here. Maybe there's a proposal uh, coming in or a pregnancy, okay? But because of these changes, it's making you guys turn your attention to you know, something else other than your spiritual work, which is fine, obviously, life gets in the way, right? But, yeah, so that's one of your guys' blocks here. Now, what else is a block to you guys? Well, we see the Six of Wands. Going back to the changes that might be occurring, some of you guys, again, might be uh, looking at moving at this time, traveling at this time, and trying to manifest this. So again, that could be distracting you. Now, what we also see here, because it, it's still positive for you guys, what we also see here is victory and success in moving forward um, with some kind of new beginning here. For some of you, this is new work. For some of you, this is new commitments and agreements. For some of you, again, there may be a celebration of marriage, okay? Um, and how that can be a block for you guys is, again, just your attention is on other changes going on. Now, there's going to be a small majority of you where there could potentially be somebody at work or in some kind of group dynamic, um, who's trying to get some recognition for your hard work, okay? Maybe somebody's trying to take the credit uh, for something that you guys have done. So I would watch out for that, but that's only gonna be for a small number of you. I shouldn't have moved those cards. Okay, your next card that you get is the Sun card. So for some of you guys, you're waiting for things to become a little bit clearer at this time, okay? In order for you to move forward uh, with your goals and your heart's desire here, okay? So some of you guys are waiting for clarification at this time. For others of you guys, again, there's happy news going on or it's going to be coming in. 
now in this card we do see a pregnancy so for some of you there will be like um a birth of a child for others of you there's going to be the birth of something new and that birth of something new is going to be a wish but again because the whole reading is about your blocks and your magic because there's so many other things going on for you guys you may not get to your uh spell work this month unless that's the goal you're wishing for <laughs> okay then you might be so the other positive card that we have is the ace of cups so some of you guys are focusing on new things at this time this could be again a new pregnancy um a new relationship something that fulfills you on an emotional level but some of you are still feeling some kind of block here uh, mentally and some kind of restriction moving forward, even though there's positive things going on. Now, that restriction might simply be that you guys are dealing with a lot of changes at this time. Okay, so you're maybe feeling mentally blocked about something. I'm just going to see if I can get anything on what this block is. Now, for some of you guys, what the block could be is that you've been persistent, patient, and working hard at your skills, um, working hard at other things that you need to do, and you might feel that things aren't coming in quick enough or as quick as you want them to, okay? Okay. So that could be putting a block on you guys, but what we do see is that new beginnings all around are coming in. It's still coming in, okay? So this restriction here is, a lot of it is self-imposed. Even though it may be difficult to move beyond that restriction, um, you, guys can, you guys can get yourself out of that restriction. For the most part, I know it's easier said than done. So what can you guys do to remove the blocks? Well, we have the lover's card here. So for some of you, there's a choice that needs to be made. Okay, so some of you guys have to make a choice. For some of you, you and your partner need to make a choice um, moving forward. Again, this could be in terms of should we move here? Should my husband take this job, etc. Okay. What we also see here is that there may be um, a significant relationship, whether it's friend or love, and this person may help you in regards to moving forward and removing any blocks in your life. For some of you, there's going to be a water sign who is significant, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, uh, who's going to help you remove some blocks this month. For others of you, Aquarius, this is you guys focusing on um, your emotions, your motherhood, nurturing something here. Okay, so that could be nurturing your goals, nurturing your family to help you move past restrictions. With the Page of Wands, we see you guys um, having the need to take some kind of... Um, steps toward a new beginning here now this could be in terms of a job a relationship or otherwise and for some of you this is having to communicate something for some of you guys what you need to communicate or focus on um is about balancing things out in your life on a mind body soul level okay so you might need to communicate to somebody for example that um hey i need a little break um i got to i got to take a weekend vacation because i need to really balance out my emotions and my mental health right now uh because of all this previous stuff that i dealt with so okay, that's just an example. For others of you guys, you need to communicate to a Sagittarius or a Cancer person specifically. 
Okay, the other thing you guys need to do, even though, again, this is a positive card, some of you guys might need to come up, um, I don't know why I said come up, um, some of you guys need to deal with the closing out of a family situation, okay? So letting a natural ending occur. So for example, this would be um, selling the family home to move somewhere else, um, ending a job to begin a new job. For some of you, it's dealing with an inheritance um, or working on your will maybe. I. I don't think that would be for most of you, but some of you maybe are dealing with a will. But the idea here is to let this chapter close out so new stuff comes in. What can you guys focus on during the month of December? Well, we have the star card. That's your card, Aquarius. So, of course, this is um, you guys coming up in your own power. So there is a sense here of uh, looking after yourself, okay? But there's also a sense here of focusing on your wishes, your dreams. For some of you, this is about recovering and healing at this time um, from issues that may have uh, drained you emotionally, mentally, and physically. Okay, so we do see a sense of you guys... Yes, hi. We do see a sense of you guys needing to take care of yourself right now. Something's going on with my eye. I don't know what it is. Okay, it seems like it stopped for now, but it was twitching, and it was, maybe some of you are dealing with an eye twitch, I don't know. Um, so we see you guys focusing on yourselves here. The other thing you need to focus on is, stop it. The other thing you guys need to focus on here is um, coming to some kind of decision about uh, some kind of goal that it is that you want to attain here. For some of you, you need to, again, assess a situation. It could be in terms of a close friendship or relationship, but for others of you, this is taking a look at your future and deciding which direction you want to go. For some of you, you're at the end of a burdensome cycle. So the idea here is to focus on keeping up with what it is you've been doing already. Okay, and knowing that spirit is going to be bringing you guys a new beginning for this burden that you've been carrying. We also see again that you guys um, have to let some kind of chapter close out for new things to come in. For some of you, this is going to be a new beginning in money. For others of you, it's a new place to live. Okay, it's something stable. And for some of you, this is just a new beginning in some other area, such as a relationship. But it's long-lasting and it's committed here. We see with the Strength card that um, Spirit is on your guys' side here. Some of you guys may be dealing with a reconciliation. That's what happens when my nose itches like that. It means that somebody from the past could be coming back, whether it's a friend, a loved one, okay? Um... Now, it's tied in with the Strength card, so that could be a Leo, but um, it could be indicating that a situation or somebody from the past is coming in, and you guys need to remain strong about the whole thing. Okay, so there's that, but we do see that Spirit is on your guys' side here. The other thing I'm getting about the Strength card is that your guys' goals may come to fruition or you'll be seeing more success with your goals in the month of August or in the time of Leo, okay? July, August time frame. With the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups, for some of you, there may be communication about children at this time. Um, for others of you, this is communication coming in um again it could be about some kind of new beginning here whether it's for some of you it's going to be love offers for others of you it's about a new beginning on an emotional level and that could be you know getting good news about a job for some of you there's going to be news about a pregnancy the only thing i'm going to say to watch out for this month guys is um 
with the page of swords this could be somebody watching you on social media or you doing this to somebody okay so we do have that coming up and the other thing is if this isn't you guys communicating about your truth standing your ground then somebody else could be communicating with you and their communication is a bit harsh or immature okay <coughs> So you guys might need to deal with that. Okay, Aquarius, so look for your spells below and I'll see you guys for my next video, whatever it is. Okay, bye Aquarius.